on a recent trip to the thrift store i found so many frames i brought this one home and it's actually like a canvas but it has a beautiful frame inside so we're going to remove everything from it including of course the canvas we are just going to remove all these <laughs> staples and uh, it took a while but anyways it's okay we're just going to use uh, a couple of tools here and then just pull them out now once i remove that canvas let me tell you these frames are built so strong so sturdy now this one for some reason had like the same sticker over and over again i don't know why i used my little heating tool and my little screwdriver removed it and i'm just going to give it one pretty heavy coat of waverly chalk in the white you can use any color you want of course i'm not looking for perfection because we will be distressing it but of course that is optional once it was drying i'm going to pull out these popsicle sticks so just the ones you get at the craft store now i'm going to leave three of them in the natural wood tone and then i'm going to paint three of them white two of them blue and i'm going to stain two of them in a brown here's the thing depending on the frame you have you're just going to need either more or less popsicle sticks it's up to you now you can also use paint sticks if your frame is larger because that way we need them to cover from side to side and you'll see what i'm talking about all right we're going to put those to dry here in a minute i am going to wipe the excess of the stain here and then we're going to distress the frame again this is optional you do not have to do this i'm going to use my electric sander this is my ryobi sander love 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 using it and then we're going to wipe it well and now we're just going to arrange the popsicle sticks in a color scheme that kind of makes sense to the eye and design we're going to attach them now using hot glue because they're so light it works really well you can also staple them if you need and also if you are using paint sticks maybe do staple them as well as hot glue them all right so now we're just going to follow the color scheme just one by one adding hot glue in each corner and as needed i love the way this turned out the colors are so summery so nautical now dollar tree has these hooks they have them in different designs for summer what i love about them is you can use them of course as hooks for towels or clothing but i am going to remove the hook portion of it with a screwdriver and now we're going to be left with a beautiful design of a starfish and we're just going to hot glue it onto the center hot glue did the work it is a pretty light piece but you can also use e use e6000 if you'd like we're going to reuse that little hook that came with it but just one of them we're going to place it right on top that way we can hang this piece and i gotta tell you the simplicity the freshness of this project love 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 loved using these old frames and i love using dollar tree inexpensive items what do you think let me know down in the comments All right, friends, let me tell you a little bit more about today's sponsor, Rocket Money. They are an app that you can download on your phone and it helps you manage your finances and save money. One of my goals for this year is to save more money and also pay off my car. Rocket Money is helping me by keeping all of my finances managed in one place. One of the main features that I'm loving about them, well, right away, was that they list all of the subscriptions that you have been charged every single month and sometimes you don't even realize that so once you put in information you'll see the list and you can even cancel those subscriptions right there on the app you could also set a budget every single month to help you stick to your finances goals and if you're looking to increase or better your credit score you can also do that right there on the app it's so easy so if you want to get started today for free check out the link down in the description box or you can go to rocketmoney.com slash beauty on purpose and get started today I also find this other canvas style frame. I love canvases. You know why? Because of that frame. This one has a kind of cute design, but it's just not my style. So we're going to reuse it. Once again, same exact design on the back. We're going to remove the hook portion, remove all the staples, and then remove all these stickers from the back. I don't know why they put so many. The heating tool does well. Now for this one, it did leave a little bit of a sticky residue. So I'm just going to slightly sand down the edges and remove that stickiness and then we are going to wipe it really well we're going to paint this one in a beautiful um, blue paint this is more like a bluish i think it's called ocean by waverly love this color for summer i'm just going to give it one coat it has such great coverage and then we're going to put it to the side and let it dry nothing fancy 
just put it under a fan it'll dry really quick now i don't know what happened to my footage but i didn't record it apparently so what i did here is once it was dry i distressed it just like i did the other one on the edges and then i took one of these fabric uh, burlap rolls from dollar tree i had this leftover from last year i cut out a piece that would fit right behind the frame and cover that middle section i hot glued it as well as put a stipple in each corner just like that i also drilled a couple of holes on the top using a large drill bit and i did that because we want to hang it now i am so sorry i don't know what happened to that footage but again, I just went over it. If you have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. All right, so now we are going to thread some of this burlap ribbon. It's kind of snug, so I'm using my screwdriver to help me. And once I have it all set, I just want it to look nice and pretty right there on top. But you can use whatever you want to hang it. You can use hooks, you can use sawtooth hooks, whatever you want. I think using the burlap ribbon really complements the design. We're just going to tie it in a simple knot, and we are going to cut off the excess just like that. Now, I do want to add one of these starfish that come three in a pack. They also have sand dollars at Dollar Tree. Great for crafting. I'm going to hot glue one right there to the bottom right corner. A little hot glue is sufficient. And then we're just going to use this as an earring holder. And I love this. This would be a great gift for someone. Mother's Day. The possibilities are endless. You can make even larger ones with a larger frame. Love the style. Love the functionality of this one. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. For this next DIY craft, I'm going to take this set of four frames that came together for $1.99. What a great deal. Now, they're not all the same. I did realize that once I opened them. But they're all very similar in color and size. One of them was a little smaller, but we're going to make it work. So I'm going to remove everything from them, including all the little tabs and the little hooks from the back that is holding that center because we're not going to need them. Now, I'm sure you've seen many windows design made with picture frames. I hope I can give you a new idea to make with them. Now, we're going to lightly sand it just to remove any dust, any grime, and just to sand down that sheen that they had. Wipe it really well. Make sure that it's dry and then we are going to attach them. The goal here is to attach them in the shape of a window, but you can do whatever you want. Now, because they are a little bit different in shape and size, we are going to make sure that the edges align, and I'll show you how that works. I'm gonna use hot glue and E6000. You see how that's flush on one end? That's what we're looking for. We're gonna do the same thing with the other ones, just hot glue them to each other, and then we're gonna hot glue those two to the other one. Again, using a combination of E6000 and hot glue for a quick hold and permanent hold we're going to flip it over and then we are going to add some popsicle sticks for extra security we're going to hot glue them we're also going to staple them now that everything's nicely attached we're going to give it a couple of coats of this waverly chalk pin in the celery tone beautiful color but you can use whatever color you want of course white would be beautiful blue teal gorgeous we're going to do a couple of coats so we're just going to add this one let it dry and then we're going to add another one once it was dry we're going to take some of this white nautical rope from dollar tree and we are going to line the entire edge so all around the frame we're going to add this and we're also going to add it in the center and crisscross it we just want to add a little bit of texture bring everything together and then in the center we just want to cover those openings and any hot glue or glue that you can see All right, so currently at Dollar Tree, they have all of these summer picks. I love these. This is the first time me seeing these. They have a very nautical, beachy look. Love it. So I'm just going to use this one. It even has a little seahorse right on it. We're going to hot glue it, and we're also going to wrap it around with some of this natural tone nautical rope, again, from Dollar Tree. This is just to, to add a little bit of different tone and texture, but you can use the white nautical rope as well or even ribbon. We're going to hot glue it and secure it to cut off the excess. And we're going to add another one of those starfish on top of the rope, as well as one there on the side. And look how gorgeous this is. You can add whatever other designs, florals you want to it. Let me know what you think down in the comments.
for this next DIY craft, I'm going to take another one of this canvas style frames. We're going to remove again everything from it, including the saw tooth. And we're going to have to remove a lot of paper from this one. This one took me a while, friends. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But it's so satisfying at the same time because you don't know what you're going to find underneath these canvases. All right. This one has very different texture, very porous. I did sand it just a bit and we're going to paint this one white. You know, I love white. Now I do like color here and there, but white is my go-to. But with this one, I just felt white was perfect for it. We're going to paint all around the frame and put it to the side to dry. Once it was dry, again, we are going to distress it, but don't stress. <laughs> you can skip this part if you want. I just like a little bit of distress look. We're going to use one of the remaining little hooks from the previous project. We're going to add it to the back. Now these picks are gorgeous and they're from Dollar Tree for $1.25. They're nice and long and flimsy. I'm just going to start stapling them, starting at the bottom left corner and then bringing it up on the other side and then adding as needed to kind of make it a little fuller. But friends, we only used one pick. One. Gorgeous. Love it. So we're going to keep hot gluing, stapling as needed. Dollar Tree also has these picks, and I think these were more in the springtime. Um, we are going to use the green tone ones. We're just going to cut off little bundles of the picks and hot glue them in between the greenery. That way it's just going to make it fuller, add a pop of lighter green color, texture. Love the way this one turned out. So simple, so fresh. What do you think of this one? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you Rocket Money for sponsoring this video and don't forget to check out their link in the description box. I have another video here for you with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye. Bye.